y'all. Today is day two of my fitness journey, getting back into shape just for life in general, but my main motivation is the Miss Nevada pageant coming up in three weeks. Yesterday, I started off very light and I went for a little light jog just to see what I could do. Um, I think it was about a mile. I just went around my complex and like the little shopping center next to my complex and I completed it barely. I fell. I literally tripped over a rock and fell. Today I'm at Sunset Park and they have these little workout stations. So I've been stopping at each one just to kind of see where I'm at, what I'm working with. And I'm so disappointed. I could barely do the little leg step up thing. And I just, now I'm working on abs, which totally used to be my thing. And I couldn't even do 50 sit ups. I couldn't even do 25 in a row. I did 15. So I have a lot to work on, but stay tuned. In a second, I'm gonna go to my mom's house and weigh myself. There's some birdos watching their territory. I think they want me to skip this one. Okay, go on. Get out of here. because she's the only one with a scale but we have to find the scale so one second okay starting weight is 133 so my goal is to lose at least 10 pounds in three weeks out on a jog with max this morning in the desert beautiful max is just loving it huh you're keeping your mama in shape <laughs> Hey guys, sorry I'm in the middle of moving things, but I'm about to go to the gym and I just took my starting measurements. Bust is 35 inches, waist is 28 and a half, hips 37, thighs 20, and arms, like my upper arms, are 11 inches. it has been about a week and a half and I've done nothing but add exercise to my normal lifestyle I have not changed my diet whatsoever with that being done I have lost an inch around my bust an inch and a half around my waist and an inch around my hips my main focus wasn't really losing the inches or losing weight yet I just wanted to get back into shape I wanted to be able to run for quite a while without being totally out of breath. So I have a week before the pageant right now. So now I'm going to really focus on losing the weight. Sorry, my hair. Every year, I'm telling you, every year the pageant comes around, my hair ends up looking like a freaking lion. This happens every year. It's the cold, dry weather. I really want to tone up my arms. I don't think they're big, but like, I don't like the jiggle. And I do have, I'm, I like this pretty much but I just want to tone up I don't really care about how big I am but I want to look toned I want to look like I have muscles and not like anyways right now it is time I am heading to the mall to pick out my interview outfit for the judges my bikini for the prelims and my gown that I'm gonna be on stage in of course I'll bring you guys with me so let's go to the mall <laughs> just got back from Hawaii. Who likes my tan? I'm just kidding. I didn't go anywhere. I just got my spray tan done and I still have to wait a couple hours before I wash it off. Um, I'm not sure if you can see but I kind of rubbed it off over here by accident but it's not like a huge deal. Tomorrow is Saturday which is our judges interviews and learning the formations for the show and fittings and everything so I'm so excited this weekend is finally here and I look crazy 
Anyways, all of my working out has totally paid off. I feel a lot better than I did three weeks ago. In total, I lost two inches, two and a half inches, and two and a half inches. So I'm very, very happy and I'm definitely stronger and I'm totally gonna keep up with this whole workout routine. Max and I have been running every day and he's getting in shape too. I really wanna have abs and be super strong by the time summer comes around. <laughs> okay. Um, the gown that I went with, I obviously I didn't show you guys any of the gowns that I tried on, so that's gonna be a surprise. Also, the bikini that I went with, I did not include footage of myself trying it on, so that's gonna be a surprise. And the interview outfit I went with is one of the two that you saw. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you know which one it is because I let you guys choose it. I am going to end this vlog right here. I will see you guys tomorrow. You will get to see all of the craziness going on tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be my favorite vlog because it's really relaxing, whereas pageant day can be pretty stressful, but also super exciting, just not so much relaxing. But I'm super excited. And my goal this year, I don't know if I already said this in the beginning of this vlog, but my goal is to at least make top three, which would be crazy because I'm going to bomb the question. No matter what it is, even if it's something I'm fully knowledgeable about, I'm going to bomb it. <laughs> so be prepared for that. I'm sure that'll be exciting. But even if not, I mean, I hope I don't like not place at all because that would be going backwards. Super excited to meet all of the girls. Unfortunately, this year I had to miss orientation and all the fun stuff because I was so sick. So I'm super excited to meet everyone tomorrow. And you guys will get to meet some of them as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. Turn the post notifications on if you don't want to miss uh, tomorrow. And pageant day is going to be awesome. If you want to watch the pageant live, go find the Miss Nevada USA website and you can watch it live at 7 p.m. on Sunday. Also, if you're really into the whole pageant vlog thing, since I only do it once a year, you can also watch my videos from last year. I'll see you guys tomorrow.